Currently, right now, I am in the eastern city of Kharkiv, which is right now bombed by Russian army, and we are in an improvised impromptu bomb shelter, which is right in the underground. So imagine you're in the an underground in London, and it's a bomb shelter. It's typical. So where are we now? And people around me are actually having a shelter here. What, what is morale like where you are? The morale is very good. People are calm. Uh, people are focused. Uh, you can see a lot of ordinary people. You can see even small babies here. And uh, some of them are literally being born here. So this is completely ruined of a normal uh, course of life. But everybody is absolutely determined to, to stay together till we win. You recently yeah. joined the Ukrainian I... army. Why did you do that? Because I think it's my obligation to defend my country. And millions of Ukrainian uh, men did the same thing, territorial self-defense or army, because I had my previous uh, training as an army officer, I did it. I mostly uh, now fight with my, with my voice and with my words. But if necessary, I'll certainly will be ready to pick up the gun and fight. And what have you been doing since you joined up? Mostly supporting people like these. They need support in every, in every, every city. They need somebody uh, who they know to tell them that everything's going to be all right. I meet people in, uh, uh, in different cities, uh, army officers and soldiers. We we'll go to hospital, we bring some aid. And not only me, there are many other people. Like uh, over there, there is a famous Ukrainian poet, Sergei Zodan. He's over there. Uh, he's very modest. The guy who actually will is now nominated for the Nobel Prize from Ukraine. So wow. he's next to me, and you can see him. And he's my friend, and we are together. You're a very famous musician. You're a rock star. Uh, can music help? Has music helping you cope and other people cope? It's not time for music, but generally people listen to the music that, they, that pumps up their mood, and they are, uh, it helps a lot. But now the most help we need, it's not music. It's anti-missile defense systems and planes and closing the sky over Ukraine. This is the help that we need now. And then when we win, we'll have a lot of music. You've been posting messages to your many fans in Russia uh, over the past few weeks. What have you been saying to them? Uh, it's very difficult to say some, something to people who are afraid of going out to the streets because they're afraid of being arrested. Our people are being killed, so we're not afraid to fight against the enemy. You're not only a musician, you're a former member of the Ukrainian parliament, aren't you? Uh, how much uh, room is there for diplomacy now? Uh, uh, even if we have one chance from 100, we need to do it. But uh, while we are thinking about diplomacy, our army needs to be ready to fight. And do you think there is room for diplomacy even as Ukrainians fight back? Uh, it's always room for diplomacy. Uh, sooner or later, every war finishes with diplomacy. What is your message to the people of Ukraine? The message uh, to everybody in Ukraine is we are together, we are fighting together, and we shall overcome. It's inevitable because we're fighting for justice and for our land. Svetoslav, many thanks to you for joining us on the agenda. Thank you very much.